Hello everyone, welcome to Java Expert. In today's video, we will create the Spring Boot application with HTTPS. So first, we will discuss what is HTTPS, how it is work. So without HTTPS, how our services are working now? So whenever you are initiating any request from web browser, so it will be HTTP, right? So what is HTTP first, basically? HTTP means Hyper hypertext transfer protocol so it will be plain text always when the browser is initiating the request it will be a plain right uh, no plain request to the server and the server also will respond back to browser in the plain text now what is the problem with http protocol so whenever the communication is happening between web browser and the web server in between when someone is you know try to hack your request so they can able to get your data in between so that's the problem we have with HTTP protocol because it's a plain text. So how HTTPS works? So we have a browser and we have a web server. So in between, we will have a certificate. So normally we will call it as the SSL certificate. So uh, SSL means uh, secure socket layer. So it's a legacy uh, certificate kind of thing, it's older version of TLS. So now in the all the IT industries, they are moved to TLS versions. So TLS means transport layer security. So in TLS, we have a version like 1.0, 1.1, 1.3 things. So in, in the current industry, most of the companies, they are uh, working with the TLS 1.2 and later uh, 1.3, few of them. So how this works? So when the client is instead of the request, it will be encrypted. The HTTPS means hypertext transfer protocol secure. So the request will be secured, so basically uh, no, encrypted, and the encrypted data will be transferred over the network to the server, right? So only the server can able to decrypt. In between, somebody is trying to hack your data also, they cannot able to decrypt, they cannot able to see your data. So, and when, he, when the server is response back to the browser, basically the client, that is also will be encrypted. So only the web browser or the web server only can able to decrypt the data and it can able to see the, the plain text. Okay, uh, how exactly it works? This HTTP is, uh, you know, uh, this communication, how exactly it works? See it. So we have a browser and we have a web server. So when the browser is initiating the request to the web server, it will be, you know, um, before uh, starting its actual communication, the SSL handshake will happen. Right. So whenever using the HTTPS protocol kind of a communication, first SSL handshake will happen. Uh, what it means? What is SSL handshake means? Like um, uh, both client and server will come to a mutual agreement how the encryption is going to happen. So that, that then only the browser, whatever is encrypted by the browser, can be decrypted by the server. And the same way, whatever is encrypted by the server can be decrypted by the or a client or web browser. So this mutual agreement should happen. So that is we are calling as SSL handshake. So whenever initiating the request by the browser, the browser will send the hello server request. So now once the request is received by the server, now server send back to the client saying hello client and along with that it will send the certificate of the server. Okay. So once the certificate is received by the uh, browser browser will check whether the certificate is a valid one or genuine one but how browser will know or how browser, browser will validate so in this case so whenever you are going to publish any service or you are going to deploy a server so you need a certificate right so the all, most of the companies most of the website the certificate will be signed by the certificate authorities so there are you know, uh, more number of certificate authorities in the market so they are the certificate authorities who are going to sign your certificate, right? So by default, whenever you are installing any browser, all these certificate authorities, public certificate will be imported by default by the browser. So if you go and see in your, in your browser and go and see that certificate management sections, you can see the lot of certificates. So those certificates are the uh, certificate, you know, public keys of the certificate authorities. So the browser is already having the public key of the certificate authority. So with that public key, uh, no browser will validate the server certificate. Okay, once the validation is done, 
the certificate is genuine and it's valid one then what will happen now server uh, the you know uh, browser will generate a asymmetric session key right so the whatever now we are talking about is a uh, uh, asymmetric session key means is a common key between the both web browser and web server so server is validated a certificate now it's generating the asymmetric session key and encrypted with server public key right because the server already sent its certificate and public key so with server's public key it encrypted the asymmetric session key which is generated by the browser now server will decrypt the uh, asymmetric session key which is generated by the browser uh, with its private key because the private key is owned by only the server nobody is having the you know, private key and now the session is established because both web server and web uh, you know, client have the a common asymmetric key okay this asymmetric key is valid only for that particular session right now the session is established so in this stage the ssl handshake is successful and ssl, SSL handshake is completed now they can able to uh, communicate you know records and response the actual records and response will happen by encrypted based uh, no will be encrypted with the asymmetric key which is generated right so what will happen is the whenever browser is giving any request to server that request will be encrypted with the asymmetric key and will send to server and server will decrypt that particular request with the same asymmetric key and it will process it it will happen in this uh, way only i hope you get some fair idea about how this exactly this azure dps or the ssl or tls works um okay now we will get into the our uh, practical session we will try to demonstrate we'll create some self signed certificate and we'll create on some simple spring boot application and we will show you how uh, this works in the practical go to practical session uh, let's create a spring boot application spring boot rtp this Next, so we need only Spring Web dependency here. Next and finish. Let's wait for a few uh, seconds. Create a project. Our project is ready now. So uh, I'll do some few configuration here um, into properties. So we have to configure a few things here to enable our HTTPS uh, to, to enable our application uh, with HTTPS. dot run with uh, 801 now these are the properties we have to enable to uh we have to configure these properties to enable uh https uh, protocol server dot cell dot cell key dot allies so we have to provide the allies name so we'll give uh by export dot ssl dot e store so we'll we'll generate the uh the case file and paste here so now we will just configure the class path so here java expert dot the case we'll generate this file i'll show you how to generate case dot ssl dot e store password as uh, will generate with java export itself dot ssl dot i put a key store type key store type it's going to be jks okay that's it so by providing these properties we are we are enabling https endpoint in our services right so now our service is almost ready now we will generate the uh, certificate we have opened, you know, go, uh, get into the uh, command prompt, and so this is the uh, command you have to use to generate your own uh, certificate. The key tool it is it, it will be uh, the by default command uh, in, in JDK, so that you can use it. So these are the properties you have to provide. You have to provide uh, you have to provide alias name such Java export and key so type it JKS, and the algorithm we are going to use RSA algorithm and the key size you are mentioning it and validity. 
and the key store uh, file name java export dot jks and uh, it lasts for a password so we will use the same password which we configured in the uh, application dot properties java export last to re-enter java export so first and last name by java export last for organizational unit i am giving the same thing the organization uh, name i'll use the same thing so city chennai state Nadu. so two letter in uh, country code is in so yes enter the password for java export we use the same thing what we have provided for the store so now your certificate is ready so i have generated the certificate uh, in this path so java export at jks let me copy this to our class path right so now we have a certificate uh, java export at jks certificate is ready we have configured all the ssl related configurations in the application at properties so let's write uh, one small endpoint so that we can test it right so I'm not going to create the entire structure of controller, entity, all those stuff. In the main class itself, I, I'm going to write a simple controller. Press controller. Sorry, uh, it's static. Uh, public, certain some string. Get HTTPS fonts. Simple method just to show you uh, our service is working in a city based. Right. Response received from HTTPS service. Right. Get mapping of It, it. right so uh, i think we have done uh, everything to demonstrate uh, our services running with HTTPS. right so let's start service and as you know we can start with spring boot app the same fine so now let's go to browser I normally will use like the site http colon localhost. So we are running with 8081 as https response. So what will happen if I use http protocol? So by entering that, you will get this message bad request because this combination of host and port requires TLS. So we have enabled our uh, https, right? So it is looking for a TLS certificate. So that's why when you are trying to hit using http protocol, you won't get any response. So what you are doing is you are going to use HTTPS instead of that. TPS, right? Now you are entering it. Yes. Now what is no? This connection is not private. So you are getting some warning. The reason is whenever you are you know uh, triggering or uh, trying to access any HTTPS protocol, that particular certificates you no know, certificates should be signed by certificate authority. And that certificate authorities public certificates public key should be there in your browser, right? Now we have created our own certificate. That certificate is no, it's not signed, and that uh, cert that particular signing authority public key is not there in our browser also. So that is why it is throwing this kind of warnings, right? So what we can do is, since we know this local or this, I I know uh, no, it is our own. So it is there is no risk any risk in this. So I am continuing to. Uh, continue to local host so it is accommodating as the unsafe so anyway i'm continuing it so now we are getting the response response received from http service which we have you know that's what a string we have given in our as a, a response right so our https is working we can able to start our service using https and we can able to access that particular endpoint also right so i'll show you one more thing um i show you right that's uh, certificate authorities public certificates so those things we can able to see in go to settings in your browser you can just type uh, certificate 
manage certificate sex and if you go and see that right you can see many certificate you can see you know these are uh, the certificates of the certificate authorities so if you see most of the certificate uh, will be signed by kind of you know, these authorities uh, so you can see the names here right epm kind of right user trust very sign zero ssl so these are the public uh, no uh certificate authorities in the industry so they will will sign your certificate and those certificates you can deploy in any or uh, server then you can you know expose into the internet as a uh, www or https things so then you won't get any in this kind of warnings because these public authority certificates will be there in all our browsers but it right so i hope you understand how this certificate the cell tls uh, HTTPS things works and just I show you the very simple example to just to understand for the understanding. So thank you uh, so much guys for watching this uh, video. So please go ahead and provide your comments, thoughts in the comment section and I'm requesting you to subscribe my channel and share with your friends. I'll see you in some other video. Thank you guys.